From DocuSign, I'm Julie Gordon, a programmer writer on the Developer Center team. In this screencast, I'll walk you through My API Calls, a sample app that allows you to experiment with common DocuSign API calls in an interactive environment. To use My API Calls, you'll need a DocuSign developer account. You can sign up for a free account at this URL. My API Calls includes a collection of business scenarios. Each one consists of a sequence of API calls, known as steps, that accomplish a common task. As you step through the sequence of calls, you'll see how return values can be used in subsequent requests. To help you understand how each call works, the scenarios only show the properties required for the features being demonstrated. We've even provided sample values to make it clear how each property is used. Scenarios are not industry or programming language specific, so they're relevant to a variety of applications. My API calls can also help when you need to quickly load your developer account with data for a demo or test. You can do this by configuring a scenario to run multiple times with unique data. Scenarios cover calls from several APIs, including eSignature, Click, Admin, and Rooms. Before I start the demo, I want to let you know that all the data you'll see is temporary test data that was created just for this demo in a sample developer account. All accounts and sensitive information used in this demo have been deleted, disabled, or revoked. You can access My API Calls by visiting this URL. The My API Calls homepage lists all the available scenarios. Before running any scenarios, I select Login to log in with my developer account. To run a scenario, I select Try Scenario, and the Scenario Execution page loads. Before I continue with the demo, let me define a few terms that are applicable to this scenario. An envelope is an overall container for a DocuSign transaction and includes information about documents, signers, and other transaction features. A template is a blueprint for an envelope. It stores commonly used envelope parameters so that they can be reused. For this demo, we'll walk through a scenario that creates an envelope from a template. The envelope will then be sent via email, a process known as remote signing. The Behind the Scenes panel has details about the API calls and links you can follow to learn more about them. The Running the Sample panel lists prerequisites for running the scenario. It also provides details about three ways you can run the scenario. The first option is to run each step separately. This gives you the most detail about what's happening behind the scenes. Another option is to run all API calls consecutively with no break between them. This is a good option if you're more interested in a live demo of the features, although you can still see the API requests and responses. A third option is to run the entire scenario multiple times. This is useful for loading your developer account with data for test or demo purposes. You can use variables in the request values to make them unique for each execution, as described in the instructions. The Running the Sample panel also includes instructions for viewing objects created in your account as a result of running the scenario. For this scenario, there are instructions for accessing the template. For this demo, I'll run the scenario step by step. To begin, I select Step 1 in the left navigation. The Step Execution page displays the first step in the scenario, which corresponds to the first API call. The type of API call and endpoint are listed, with my developer account already populated in the endpoint URL. For this step, the API call is a POST request to the Templates Create endpoint of the eSignature REST API. This is the JSON request body of the API call. It displays the properties that will be included in the request and their values. For some properties, the sample app offers the option of providing your own values, and they'll be included in the request that's sent to DocuSign. These customizable values are listed in the Parameters section. Each parameter has help text below it that explains how the value is used in the request. As I enter values in the Parameters section, the JSON request body is updated with those values. For example, when I select a file to use as the signing document, the app automatically converts it to a Base64 encoded string and includes it in the request body. After I've finished entering parameter values, I select the Execute button to send the request to DocuSign. The API call execution list displays the request and the response. 
The response also appears here. A key value in the response to the Create Template request is the template ID. This ID is required for any call that creates an envelope from this template, as we'll see in the next step. I select Next Step to proceed to the next API call in the scenario. For this step, the call creates an envelope from the template that I created in the previous step. The request body has been populated automatically with the template ID returned in the previous response. As a result, the details defined in the template, such as the document to be signed, will be applied automatically to this envelope. Because I want this envelope to be sent to a demo email address, I'll change the signer email. As in step one, the request body is updated with the value. I select Execute to send the request to DocuSign. The call to create the envelope is sent, and the response lists the envelope ID, which uniquely identifies the envelope. The envelope is sent to the address I entered as the signer email, and I can use the link in the email to complete the signing process. Please check out our collection of My API Call scenarios to see how to construct sequences of calls for other common tasks. For information on other developer center sample apps and how to develop integrations with DocuSign, here are some resources. I recommend checking out the sample apps page, going to Stack Overflow, reaching out to support, or signing up for API office hours. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. If you're watching from our YouTube channel, please post questions and comments below the video or email us at developers at docusign.com.